You've heard the tales of terror, the whispers in the air, likes plummeting, hashtags disappearing. Who am I if I can't be discovered in the Explore tab of Instagram? What is this fresh hell we're living in? But what if this could be a tale of hope? A heartwarming journey of defying the odds, overcoming adversity, daring to dream. The Instagram shadow ban doesn't have to be a scary story. Let me show you how. Hey, it's RK8 story time today, talking a little bit about the terrifying tale of the Instagram shadow ban. What is it? Where does it come from? What causes it? How can I avoid it? And why could it be the very best thing to happen to your Instagram since stories? Yep, I'm going there today, folks. Shadow bands. What's the deal? They're so scary. They ruin our engagement. They they destroy our hashtag feed. They they keep us from being discovered by new people. What's an Instagrammer to do? Never fear. Awkward Marketing is here, and I am on the case. So, let's get right down to it. If you're on Instagram, then you already know, you probably heard about the shadow ban. And a lot of people are confused. What's a shadow ban? Am I going to get notified by Instagram if I'm on a shadow ban? I mean, am I going to get, is there some little screen message that comes up on my screen? No. That's why. You never know, it could be lurking around every corner. Every moment, you could have a shadow ban right on your shoulder. But here's the thing, I'm here to tell you today why a shadow ban could might be the very best thing that could happen to your Instagram and why it's not as terrifying as we think. But before we dive into that, before we dive into that, Script flip is what I was trying to say, but as you know, this is awkward marketing, and you can't spell awkward without RKA. No, you can't. If you try, try it. Try it. If you try to spell awkward without it, it would be. That's what. That's what. That's what awkward is without RKA. Okay, you can't do it. So, what is a shadow ban? You ask. What is a shadow ban? So, a shadow ban is when a platform limits your account activity without telling you anything about it. So that's why they call it a shadow ban, or in some places they might call it a stealth ban, because you're not getting notified. No one's telling you, and there's nowhere you can go to check or to verify if you've been shadow banned or stealth banned. You just have this eerie feeling that something is terribly wrong. So if no one's going to notify you and no one's going to tell you that you're being shadow banned, how the heck do you know what's happening? Well, here's what you got to do. So if you're on shadow ban, if you're on shadow ban and you're worried that you're being Instagrammed, if you're on Instagram and you're worried that you've been shadow banned, if you've got that sneaky, creepy feeling that something is horribly amiss, then what you need to do is you actually need to check your account from a secondary account. Now, in my case, I've got a business profile and I've also got a personal profile. So, because folks, I'm not going to bring you information that I haven't experienced Deep down intimately myself. And you're looking at someone who has been shadow banned and lived to tell the tale. I ain't afraid. I ain't ashamed to tell you. I'm not afraid to go there. So when I was had that sneaky, creepy feeling that I had been shadow banned, what did I do? I went over to my personal account. And the first thing I did was I unfollowed my business account, the account in question, the account that I was worried had been banned. I unfollowed it because here's the thing about shadow bans. Let me take a step back here. When you're shadow banned, at its basic heart, is you cannot be, dis- your posts are not easily discoverable or discoverable at all by new people. So people who already follow you are not going to notice anything at all. They're going to see all of your posts. They're going to see you in the hashtag feeds. But the problem with a shadow ban is you are not being found by brand new people. So if I put up You know, if I put up a post and I hashtag it with awkward marketing, people who already follow RKA Inc. on Instagram, uh, they're going to see that. And if they go check the awkward marketing hashtag, they're going to see my post on there. But if you've never heard of me before, you don't know who I am from Adam, and you go to the awkward marketing hashtag, 
you aren't going to see a damn thing because because I'm shadow banned. So here's how you check if you've been shadow banned. As I said, you go to a secondary account. And in my case, I went over to my personal account. I unfollowed my business account. So now I'm no longer following myself. And then I went to my hashtag feeds and the hashtags that I normally use. Now, in my case, there's a few, you know, hashtags that only I use. Like if I use the RKA Inc. hashtag, no one else is really using that hashtag. Um, if I'm using awkward marketing, there's a couple of posts in there, but most of the posts in awkward marketing are coming from me. So I go over to the hashtag where I know I'm showing up in search. I'm not going to go to a hashtag that has like millions of, of posts in it because then you're going to have to scroll and scroll and scroll and you might miss it even if it's in there. So I'm going to go to a hashtag that I know I appear, appear pretty, you know, high up in the search results and I'm going to check. And if the, if your posts don't show up in that hashtag feed, that is a pretty good indicator that you've been shadow banned. Again, here's the thing with the shadow ban. Instagram has not acknowledged that they're doing this. So earlier this year, at the end of February, early March, Instagram actually issued a statement because a bunch of people were like, what's going on with our accounts? We're not being found in hashtag results. What's the deal? What's the shadow ban? Tell us about it, Instagram. And Instagram released a very, um, what can I say, a very diplomatic answer, but it was kind of like a non-answer. And what they said was, we understand that users have experienced issues with our hashtag search that caused posts to not be surfaced. We are continuously working on improvements in our system with the resources available. And then they go on to basically say, when you're developing your content, we recommend that you focus on your business objective and your goals over hashtags. So at its heart, Instagram basically said, stop being so obsessed with hashtags, folks. Focus on creating great content. Focus on visual storytelling. Focus on engaging your audience. That should be where your focus is, not hashtags. And of course... People were pissed. They were like, wait a minute, but hashtags are how I got I get discovered. Hashtags are how I find a new audience. Dave says that this reinforces my instinct to always collect email addresses via opt-in. Zuckerberg can't own your lists. Oh, boom, mic drop. I mean, I couldn't have said it better myself, and I'm so glad that you went there, Dave, because that's exactly where I'm going with this today. I mean, we want to be we want to remember this is a really good reminder that when you put all of your eggs in a social media platform that you don't own and you don't control, you have the ability to get screwed by the system. So I haven't just seen this with people who have gotten Instagram shadow banned. I've seen it on Facebook. You know, in the early days of Facebook, you could put up a business page and you would get a really healthy amount of organic engagement. And as the platform has grown over the years, you know, and it's not just because Zucky is, is money hungry. I mean, sure, we all, you know, you know, he loves money. But the fact is, the platform has grown. There are thousands and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of pages. I don't even know if there's millions of pages, probably. And so organic engagement has dropped significantly. And the truth is, when it comes to Facebook pages, if you want to get seen, if you want to get found, you're going to have to put a little bit of money on it. And people lost their shit when this went down. They were so upset, not just because they, you know, they were being forced to pay to play, if you will, but because this, they had, you know, put their entire marketing strategy on this one tool and this one way of engaging with their audience. And when that tool changed, because they had no control over it and they didn't own that tool, it totally lambasted their marketing plan. So what Dave said is so smart that you don't want to put, you really want to, at the end of the day, you're always going to be wanting to bring people back to a place that you own and control. And that's why your email list is a really smart thing to be investing your time in and your energy in. Because if all of your eggs are in the social media basket, every time those platforms change, you are putting your marketing strategy and, and your business at risk. So yes, you always want to be bringing people back somewhere, like your website, you know, get their email, bring them into an opt-in of some sort, and not only rely on Instagram alone. But I digress. You got me on a wonderful tangent there, Dave. I appreciate it. But I digress. Where was I? Where was I? I was, how do you check if you've been shadow banned? It sucks that you're shut out. Oh, yeah. So Instagram is telling us, don't worry about hashtags. Don't worry about the shadow ban. Just create good stuff. Now, I'll tell you, 
when I first got shadow banned, oh, you know, I was such a naive young, young Instagrammer with a heart of gold. I thought this will never happen to me. When I first got shadow banned, I was pissed like most people. And I read that statement from Instagram and I thought this is a bullshit non-answer, Instagram. What are you going to do with all the people that rely on hashtags? What are you going to do for all the people who are trying to build their followings? What am I supposed to do here? But I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, this scary story turned into a tale of hope, a heartwarming story of defying the odds and daring to dream. I would not let the Instagram shadow ban get me down because here's the fun, here's, here's a little fun fact. You can continue to grow your following on Instagram even if you're under a shadow ban. And I'm going to show you how. Now, Heather, Heather, Heather says, back in the day, blogs were super easy for organic engagement too. Anytime there's more people, it gets trickier unless you get the value. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in my room. I don't even know. This is not how the song goes. But if it is how it went, then I will be singing it to you. Michelle says, I love you. I love you, Michelle. Where are you? There you are. I love you. So, yes. And actually, Heather, I love that you bring this up because, I, you know, I've got a blog that I wrote about this. You can actually find it on rkaink.com slash Instagram. It's all about the Instagram shadow ban. So it goes, you know, it's all, you know, all of the, the core stuff I'm bringing at you today. But if you want to kind of skip to the Cliffs Notes, go to rkaink.com slash Instagram. And I talk about this here. So... Back in the day, you used to be able to kind of game the Google system by just stuffing your blog posts with a ton of keywords. So if I wanted to get found for awkward marketing, I would just write a bunch of blogs where I repeated awkward, awkward marketing a million bazillion times. And it didn't matter if the blogs were just, you know, flaming pile of garbage. I would get found in search. Well, guess what? This was resulting in a bunch of garbage search results that people were not being served by. And Google doesn't want that because Google wants you using its tool. Google wants you searching. So Google changed the algorithm and they have continued to change it. And whereas once upon a time, you used to kind of be able to trick the system into be found in search really easily. Now you actually have to be bringing the value in order to get found in search. Google is not just measuring whether or not your content is valuable to your users just on the keywords. They're measuring it based on engagement. They're measuring it based on comments and shares. They're measuring, they're measuring it based on who is linking to this article. If it's being passed around the internet, all of those things go into the algorithm. And so now keywords are just a tiny little part of the game. So let me bring this back to Instagram. Here's the thing. So we know that this is where that, that tools are always headed in the direction of becoming more useful to their users. And so when Instagram told us earlier this year that when, you know, instead of focusing on hashtags and fretting about the shadow ban, that we should be focused on visual storytelling and building up amazing content, that wasn't just a way of them avoiding the issue of whether there's a shadow ban or not. They were kind of dropping a little hint about what is to come on the Instagram platform. Because here's the thing, just like Google, Instagram has been evolving its algorithm and, and improving its tools. And so this is what we know about the future of Instagram. We know that Instagram is heading in the direction that it's going to be less hashtag dependent so that you as a user, and this is all with the user in mind, it might not be for the business owner who wants to get to a bazillion followers in two seconds, but it's meant for the user. They are evolving their tools with photo recognition technology so that hashtags aren't the only way that we can find content that really, you know, reaches us that we really love. So in the future, hashtags are not going to be the name of the game with Instagram. And I know that sucks for the business owner that just wants to hashtag and run. I just want to load up my posts with a bunch of hashtags and then just sit back and relax and have the likes come in. Well, say goodbye to that strategy because it's going the way of, of keywords did with, with, uh, with blog posts. Keywords aren't the only way to get found in search anymore. In fact, you've got to actually write stuff that people really want to interact with and that actually means something to them. Same thing with Instagram. And I want to take a little sepsy back here. Here's the thing with hashtags, and this is what I write about in that article at rkainc.com slash Instagram, 
is that ha- this is one of the things I learned when I was shadow banned. And this is one of the reasons that I say the shadow man was the best thing to happen to my Instagram. Hashtags give us a false sense of engagement. So you know what I'm talking about. You go on Instagram. It is the only social media platform right now that I can post something. And by using a few strategic hashtags, I can get immediate, and I mean immediate gratification. I'm getting likes right away. And it feels good, doesn't it? Because listen, the wild, wild west of the world wide web, it's rough out there. I put up my stuff. I don't know who's looking at it. It feels like I'm shouting into the darkness. And on Instagram, I put up a post and immediately I get the sense that I'm getting engagement and feedback. But it's a false sense of engagement. Because the reality is, those likes, so many of them, especially the immediate ones, they're coming from bots. And that's one of the reasons that Instagram is kind of playing with its algorithm because it wants to discourage bots. It's coming from hashtag groupies. So there are people that will kind of focus around a certain group of hashtags and they will just like, 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 like every single thing that comes up in that hashtag. Do they even care about your content? Are they even reading your comments? Do they, like, do they know who you are? No! Their strategy is to like hashtags all damn day as a way of getting your eyes on their content and a way of building up their followers. So, as much as it's wonderful to go on Instagram and post something and immediately feel like the world is saying, yes, we love you, it is a false sense of engagement, okay? And so when I got shadow banned, one of the reasons why it was such a boon for me was it forced me to focus away from getting those shallow likes just because I'm using the right hashtags and really creating awesome stuff that is going to make people pause in their feed and read more and and take a second to see what am I trying to say here? What's going on with this picture? What, what is the, you know, what, what is the caption? So that's the first thing, you know, hashtags and, and relying on hashtags to build our following is really lulling us into a sense of a false sense of engagement. And a majority of the new followers we attract from this method are going to be shallow or non-engaged followers. They're not going to be the right followers. Second of all, Social media, guys, was meant to be social. So with that whole hashtag and run move that we've got going on where we just load up our posts with a bunch of hashtags and you know let the likes come in, that's we're not actually engaging our users. We're not actually being memorable in any way. We're not actually developing relationships. And guess what? Guess how many of those hashtag-based followers turn into leads for our business, turn into sales, very, very few, like a tiny amount, a tiny amount. The likes that you're going to get on Instagram, especially when they're hashtag based, are going to be 10 times less valuable than likes you get on any other platform because so many of them are driven by bots, driven by hashtag groupies, not driven by meaningful engagement or actual interest in what you have to say, and whether it be something that you're selling or it be the message that you're trying to share with the world. So that's something to know. Social was meant to be social. So here's the thing. If you have been shadow banned or you think you've been shadow banned, or even if you haven't been shadow banned and you just want to have a more in- meaningful Instagram you know, experience, girl, Megan, just for a second, let me ha- let me take a second to love Megan Seely, the goal designer. Check her out on Instagram. She's not full of shit, and her her content is hundred percent always on point. She's the queen of amazing content. So, goal design, the goal designer on Instagram. Drop it in the comments if you want to, Megan. So, here's the thing. Whether you're Instagram, whether you're shadow banned and you have no access to new people through hashtags and you're kind of being forced to do things the right way, or even if you're not shadow banned and you just want to have a more meaningful Instagram strategy, here's what you want to do. Number one, you want to spend time actually being social. So here's how you grow your following when you can't do it with hashtags. You've got to go out there and you've got to find more of the right people, the people that that align with your values, your interests, your passions. So if you're a business owner, these are going to be people who are either colleagues, people, you know, others who are doing similar things to you that you admire, that you appreciate what they're doing. You want to keep them kind of in your circle. You want to be part of the conversation with them or potentially your kind of ideal client. So you are going to, instead of waiting, sitting there and just hashtagging the day away and waiting to be found, 
you are going to actively go out and find new people. And no, I am not saying, now here's the thing, one way to get shadow banned is by, you know, big surges in activity. So if you go on a liking spree and you're just liking everybody in sight, that is one huge, horrible way to get your account flagged. So you want to be go and, and looking for meaningful connections with people who are either going to be your colleagues and kind of other people in the same field as you who are doing great work and that you want to make sure you're, you know, keeping your eye on the awesome things they're doing or people who are you're going to be your ideal client. And then you want to spend a couple of minutes on their feed. It's not just going and dropping a like and drop, you know, following them and then just like scurrying along your way. You want to go and you want to spend a couple minutes on their feed, get to know them, what they're up to, find some things that you really engage with, read or that you really, you know, are resonating with, read their comments, you know, learn a little bit about them. Think about it as, you know, at the very least, you can think about this as as, uh, client research because one of the best things social media is for a business owner is a way of getting to know your audience even better because people are sharing what's important to them. They're sharing what they care about. So you want to dig into that feed, get to know them, and then leave some really meaningful comments and actually go and engage with the conversations that are happening on their feed. Um, and so, yeah, going where the conversations are already happening is one amazing way to build to build your following even when you're on a shadow bank. So this means you're going to show up and you're actually going to pay attention to what's going on and you're going to leave comments that matter. Because, and the followers that you gain through this method are going to be, they're going to remember you. They're going to be more likely to pay attention to what you're saying. And they're going to be more likely to engage with you and a record over time and build a relationship with you in the future. Not just like a like for like, like, oh, you like me. I like you. You followed me. I followed you. Bye. Good luck. No. The people that you kind of gain in your audience that you that you're able to kind of build a relationship with through engaging with them and going where the conversation is already happening on their feed and building up a relationship there, they're going to remember you. They're going to pay attention to what you're saying and they're going to be building that relationship with you over time. And isn't that the goal of social media marketing? It isn't about vanity numbers. It isn't about having zillions of followers who don't give a crap about what you're having to say. It's about being remembered. It's about people knowing who the heck you are and paying attention to what you have to say. So this is it, guys. This is the way. And this is ultimately, at the end of the day, why the Instagram shadow ban was the very best thing that could have happened to my Instagram. Because it forced me to stop focusing on the scammy tips and tricks Stop focusing on using hashtags to build up my following. Stop focusing on trying to like artificially augment my numbers and really focus on why am I here? I'm on Instagram personally because number one, I want to be inspired. It's a visual network and I'm a designer and I could use some visual inspiration every single day. So that's one big reason I'm there. So I do follow a lot of other designers, other people in the marketing space, people who are doing this stuff. I follow them because they make me better. And I'm also there, of course, to engage with potential customers. I'm there to engage with potential clients. But I'm not there to use it like a megaphone, okay? I'm not there to just sharpen to the darkness. Sharpen. I'm not going to sharpen to the darkness. Don't sharpen to the darkness.com. That's my new brand. I'm not there to shout into the darkness. I'm there to build meaningful connections with people. Because when it comes to the type of work that I do as a designer and a marketing strategist, It isn't the type of relationship that people jump into immediately. And if you're out there and you have a service-based business, like you're a coach, you're a consultant, you work with people on a higher level, maybe you hold retreats, you're not selling low-end products and services. Your products and services are an investment. Well, we already know that it's going to take weeks, months, sometimes years before your audience is ready to invest. Let me take a little pause. Um, (laughs) I just see what... Um, So Heather says, so can we ignore hashtags yet? I would say, no, we're we're not going to fully ignore hashtags yet. Sure, hashtags can still be a a tool in our tool belt for connecting with people and for getting found by the right people. Because, of course, how are you going to go out and find the right people that, you know, when you are growing your Instagram following, even when you're under a shadow ban, you're still going to have to go out and find people. And hashtags is one great way to find the people that align with you. But 
I think what I'm trying to say here is if your only strategy on Instagram is hashtag, hashtag, and run, you're going to be sorely disappointed with the results. Sure, you might have an abundance of likes, but how many likes? I challenge you to kind of audit how many of those likes are turning into leads. How many of those likes are turning into traffic to your website? Do you have your analytics hooked up? Can you see how many inbound people are going to your website from Instagram? If those numbers are low compared to the likes that you have, you know that you've just got vanity numbers and nothing else. So am I like saying don't use hashtags at all? No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if that is your only strategy, then you're going to be sorely disappointed and you're going to be wasting your time. It's just going to be like, "Mm, I'm not going to say what I'm doing here, but I feel like you know what I'm doing. You know what I'm doing. Okay, enough of that. (laughs) So... So yeah, I mean, really what it comes down to is social media is meant to be social. You want to keep growing your your following even when you're under a shadow ban. It's by meaningfully and authentically engaging with people, going where the conversations are already happening. And finally, and finally, we talked about this a little bit, making sure that you are bringing your A game to your feed. Because here's the thing. When it comes to Instagram, they had, they, a few, a few, a while ago, they switched from a real time feed to an algorithm based feed. So the real time feed is everything was coming into your feed just as people posted it. Okay. I post it. It's in the feed. I post it. Now it's kind of similar to the Facebook feed. Instagram has changed the algorithm. So what we're seeing in our feed is what is, what Instagram thinks, you know, we're going to like to see. So it's based on, you know, what Instagram shows us is partially based on engagement. It's partially based on who's, are people commenting on your posts? Are they talking back and forth? Is social thing, are social things happening there? That's part of how Instagram factors in whether they show your posts in a feed. So, so many people are focused on new followers. Oh, I want to get new people who've never heard of me before. I want to boost my numbers. I want to boost my likes. I want to have, you know, an impressive number when people land on my page. But here's the thing. Your existing followers are your greatest asset. Because not only have they already said, I'm into it, I dig it, I love what you're saying, but they are the ones that you want to be targeting in terms of getting engagement on your posts. Those people are going to be the ones who are going to lift up your posts in the algorithm and make sure they're seen. So, of course, when you're under a shadow ban, the only people that are going to see your posts are going to be people who already follow you, okay? So we know that. But eventually, i got to tell you, that shadow ban will be lifted. No shadow ban has ever lasted forever, other than the only accounts that have that have reported that they never got a shadow ban lifted are literally like porn and like bot accounts. So if you are running a porn account on Instagram, I can't help you. If you are a robot, I also can't help you. But if you're a real, live, living, breathing human being that's not selling sex on the internet, then I then this is for you. Your Instagram shadow ban will eventually be lifted. And when it does, those followers of yours are going to boost up your posts in the algorithm so you're going to be seen by more new people. But at the end of the day, we don't want to forget those people who are already following us. The name of the game is killer, badass, amazing, visual storytelling content. So if we go back to what Instagram told us a few months ago, even though it seems like a non-answer, they're saying the same damn thing. They're, they're saying the same damn thing. They're telling us, stop worrying about the hashtags. Eventually, those hashtags are going to be becoming less and less and less important. you got to focus on your brand goals, your business goals, your objectives, the story you're trying to tell. Focus on that. Focus on kicking ass with your content and you will grow your feet, your following, whether you're shadow banned or not. Stay away from the tips and tricks. The tips and, the tips and tricks. Stay away from the tips and tricks. Um, <laughs> I told you no porn on Instagram. So no tits and tricks. Um, <laughs> oh man, if you, if you, if I haven't already said it, you can't spell awkward without RK. I'll say it once. I'll say it a million times. So stay away from the tits and tricks. Stay away from the scamming. Stay away from trying to hashtag yourself to success. Hashtags are a tool that you can use on Instagram, but they aren't the strategy that you should be employing. And at the end of the day, the focus should be on meaningfully engaging with your audience, building up relationships with people over time, and creating content that makes people's days and lives better. I... I love you guys. What can I say? I love you. I'm so grateful that you're here with me. And if you want a review, if you caught the beginning, middle, or end of this, 
and you want to review everything I said today, you can go over to R-K-A-I-N-K dot com slash Instagram. Check out my post. Why the shadow ban was the best thing to happen to my Instagram. It was, folks. It was. And I'll, I'll forever be grateful. I'll forever be grateful. See you, see you later, I think is what I want to say now. See ya on the other side. Sharks in the darkness. Bye now.